Shinobi vlog. It is stupid hot. It's quarter to eight in the morning on a Saturday. And I am driving to a gravel bike race, the Albuquerque Gravel Challenge. It's a two day race in Albuquerque, in the Algarve. And this is the first bike race I've ridden in a long time, but it's over 25 years. So, actually, I got the, I got the, uh, Aiden Duff's got me the bug again. That's pretty, pretty much it. What can I say? Badlands is on in September. So, I'm doing this uh, as like a training event. Two stages back to back 90k today, 94k, 75k tomorrow. Bit of elevation, but it's like five and a half hours in the saddle. But I got the, the, they send you all the info out and it's like, yeah, this is not a race. It's a fucking, of course it's a fucking race. <laughs> okay, I can't be sure it's on a race. And, uh, and then there's a, at the last is like, yeah, the, you know, the podium finishers and all this shit. So the plan is, um, plan is send it the plan is get in the front group I don't know look everything's changed since I race so ethic has changed the way people are riding has changed everything's changed some guys here be friends some guys here be kind of into winning and you'll have a bunch of not I don't know how many people are going to be here I'll say, say a few hundred anyway so just get in the front group for as long as I can stay in the front group and just just ride and just keep hydrated keep fed that's the biggest thing there's a uh, they're saying there's three feed stations, but on the map it's telling me one at 55k. So I think one feed station's enough anyway. Not gonna stop at three. We'll see how it goes. I'm on the 51 today. I tried to change over the wheels from the Gerard because of I've uh, nice Pirelli brand new tires, but they, they wouldn't fit for some reason. So uh, the front tires are a little bit sketched. The sidewalls like hanging together in the case this. And uh, you know, it'll be fine. Be fine. Maybe I'll ride the Gerard tomorrow, and then I'll see how it goes today. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It's funny how, like, when you do a competition, any competition it gives you a little bit of a buzz, gets you up at like half six in the morning, and, and um, makes you feel, you know, a little bit of a tingle again. It's great. So if you're thinking about competing, it's fucking do it. Anyway, I'll record as much as I can, and hopefully I press the button. So let's fucking do this. Send it. Uh, I, I need to sign on. What? I need to sign on. No, no need. Okay, what do you need? Uh, you, okay. Yeah. Keep your, your uh, name. Colin, Colin Bourne. Super, thank you. Super. What's this? This is the gift. Okay, okay, and can I leave it here? Yeah. Okay. 
Super. Do it that like this. Yeah. This you need for the bike. Okay. You must strap it Okay. This is for you, you must put the other okay. And I will put this. And we have the mountain bike guys go first, right? Yes. You leave with 9-10. 9-10, okay. Super. You will leave the jacket or you... I don't know. What do you think? Is it going to get warm? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in that as well. I'll do it. I'll put this on and then I'll take the jacket off. Can I help? Yeah, please. Go way. How many guys in the gravel race? Uh, 80. 80? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then this goes here. So this is the neutralized start out of Alba Ferreira. It's kind of exciting. I was just to, just being a, a bunch of guys again. Uh, it's a long time since I did something like this. We climbed up out of the town. The car is there in front of everybody. And um, here, my heart rate was kind of high already. And then when they said go, they just sprinted and there was no way I could go with that. So the group split. I ended up in the second group and um, just getting used to everything. It was, it was over 25 years since I rode a race and this was a gravel race, so it wasn't even a road race. And I remembered a lot of stuff that I'd forgotten. Simple things, um, but major things in the, in the long run. When you are riding with a group, it's best to stay as close to the wheel in front of you as possible. It's more aerodynamic, they say it's 30% easier, but you get dragged along by the speed and it's a lot less effort. Once we went off-road, on the road here you'll see people keep a line, it's a straight line. You can get pretty close to the back wheel, you know what the guy's going to do. If there's a hole they usually show a hole. If there's a car or an obstacle coming up they usually point. And um, you can see here um, there's a big gap between me and this guy in front of me. This is Bill, he's a Canadian guy. Um, and that's because once we went off-road there's um, gravel and different types of gravel. Some of it's more rutted, some's got bigger rocks, tighter gravel, and people tend to move out of line. So you have to let a bit of a gap go between you and the guy in front of you in order to not overlap his wheel. And when he switches line, you end up hitting you know, your front wheel off his back wheel and down you go. Um, so there was a lot of um, readjustments and, and gaps being let go between different riders. And then when it gets back on the road again, you got to close the gap. So you can see here, we're off road and you'll see people switch lines looking for a smoother, easier way. And you'll see everyone go off the left here. And then what happens is you have to let the gap go. And in that, you start to lose a bit of the drafting. And in that, you've got to close that gap down as soon as you get back on the road. And you can see the two boys in front here. And there's a 
you know, pretty substantial gap. And, and to close that takes a, a big effort to get back on again. And that took it out of me a lot. And the other thing I noticed was my concentration levels. You know, this was 97 kilometers, it ended up being four and a half hours at airbouts. But I can't remember the last time I tried to concentrate for any longer than a few minutes, like a, an hour maybe. So my attention span, and that was would have been my um, fails when I raced, was I used to drift and I'd switch off and when a gap opened up like oh, what's the fucking point I wouldn't close it and I found in this race I switched off about an hour and a half in and here I am on my own um, descending we can see how rutted it is on the right hand side and how much of a, a camber there is you know it's the road's tilting off to the right there but um, that was the biggest thing and I think it's got worse since the internet and social media where um, you know you could scroll click you don't concentrate on things for too long so it's lack of practice and um, this was a gun club or a bunch of lads out shooting with shotguns <laughs> serious looking dudes <laughs> and that was the biggest thing yeah just the, the concentration trying to kind of concentrate for three or four hours and, and then we use headphones when we train all the time you know we're not really switched on you can distract yourself with a podcast so i really need to get more into that this was a feed station about 55k in i thought i was last but obviously i wasn't <laughs> i've been on my own for a few kilometers and i just decided to uh grab a quick snack and then jump back on the bike again Okay, in. Just got the first feed station. Thought it was last. <laughs> so the attack from the gun uh, and the group split. Stayed with a group. Dropped back after about 30k. Another group dropped back again. It feels like my first ever race. <laughs> and I've been on my own for the last few k's. So there's a few people at the feed station. They're still staying there having a break. Blame enough food. I'm just going to ride on. Um, I'm glad I'm not last. Fuck, I've never been last in anything. Apart from Jess, not right there. <laughs> anyway, we're press on. We've got uh, 42k left. This was a nice little ascent. I kind of knew it was on the way back in here now because you can see the coast in the, in the distance. But I got over 70k an hour here, which was nice. I was riding on the 51 and uh, WTB tires. There was a rip on the front sidewall, so I was a little bit worried or concerned that it might blow out on this thing here. So I didn't lean too hard in. The second day I rode the Girard, just to see the difference, you know, and um, the fact that I got two gravel bikes, um, but they're totally different. The The Girard is more like a racing bike with, with clearance, and the uh, the 51 is pretty much a do-it-all, endurance, gravel, adventure, go-anywhere bike. It's uh, They're just completely different. So. I got on this other group here, and this was the run in into uh, into the finish. I mean, the route was absolutely phenomenal. I, I went down and I rode it already, and I decided I don't know why he came in front of me here, but um, I decided that any of these uh, races, I'm not gonna call them races anymore, they're more just experiences for me now at this stage. I'm just gonna go the once and experience it for what it is, rather than go down and do a recce on it, see what the route's like. You know, I'm not trying to win these things, I'm just trying to 
give you something a goal to ride for um, and the experience of riding in a certain rule set with a bunch of people you never met before and just that whole that whole experience so there's you know I'm gonna stop watching videos in Badlands I'm gonna just show up and ride Badlands rather than know every little detail about before I go so you know, I'd already been here, I'd already seen all this because I, I kind of knew it, it wasn't fresh. You know, I, I want something now that just go, get an idea of what it's going to be like and just take your brain out and just enjoy, embrace the whole experience because, like I say, we're rolling in here. I don't know how far behind we are, but now I should be enjoying this little bit, you know, rather than, you know, I've already been on this road. You know, nice little left hand turn here. But I mean, you can see the scenery. It's phenomenal. The blossoms are out, spring, and uh, it's amazing what and where a bike will bring you. And for me, uh, the gravel bikes are just they're great. They do it all. You can go on the road. You can go off road. You can't go as fast downhill, but you'll you'll get better skills. And you know, I saw how fast you could go downhills. Because that's the thing about these, you, you go behind a guy who's coming downhill and think, fuck it, like, I can't go that fast in the corner. And then he goes around, doesn't fall off. And you think, fuck, we can, there's more leeway. You can learn more, you can you can drive harder, you know, and he's got skinnier tires than me. He's got slicker tires than me. And he's still getting around the bends, you know? So, yeah, it was um pretty awesome experience. This is the kind of, the little finish in. The camera had kind of given up the ghost at this stage, so I just shot this on the phone. And this was all shot on the Osmo Action 2, which isn't really an action camera. I'm just after getting the Action 4, so all the stuff I'm going to be doing after this is going to be, uh, it's going to be on the Action 4. So this was the mountain bike race before us, like a thousand guys. Um, I'd forgotten the mount for the camera, so I had it in my pocket. This is the difference between a mountain bike and a gravel bike. You can see how much faster we roll past them. And you tend to end up with the same guys every day as well. There's Bill again from yesterday. Um, and there's the other guy from yesterday, I think he was a Spanish dude. And um, I paced myself much better the second day. This is the girl that won the overall for the females. The second day, I just I paced myself. I didn't, you know, go with different with different groups. I just stayed my own pace. I rode harder, more consistent. I was able to switch on for the rest of the day, and uh, that was it. And then this is just coming in. And what was mad about this thing was, you got for 60 euros, you got a meal after each one, three feed stations, and. Uh, <laughs> I end up with Bill here, who's a bit of a character, and then we got a medal as well, and like a phenomenal medal for 60 quid. Look at all the organisation, unbelievable. So, uh, travel's the way to go. I really enjoyed it. it. Won't be my last effort out there, so I'm going to look for different adventures and onwards and upwards. Got a medal, for fuck's sake.